Now it's my pleasure to announce the last speaker of today's session. Uh, it's Professor Jun Job Lee, and he will uh, speak to us about host in charge carrier transport materials for high efficiency, deep blue phosphorescent organic light emitting diets. Okay, thanks, Chairman, for kind introduction. Uh, I'm Jun Job Lee from Dangung University, Korea. Uh, so today uh, I will talk mainly about our recent development. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I will talk mainly about the, our recent development uh, about like uh, child transport materials and uh, host materials for deep blue phosphorescent organic light emitting diode. So as as you know, already they are being used as the display and lighting area. So we could see like a really nice product in the field of uh, display and lighting, and we need uh, like a uh, deep blue materials in display also writing area. So our main interest was to develop a high efficiency deep blue devices. So uh, I will not go in detail about this. So post-present OLED system usually show four times higher quantum efficiency than fluorescent device. So that is that was our motivation. And but uh, if we check the device performances of uh, like uh, reading UDC Universal Display Corporation, then they have uh, excellent data in the field of red, green, and sky blue. But uh, we cannot find any deep blue data in the website. So uh, we have to develop a high efficiency deep blue post device. So, but there are several requirements to develop a high efficiency deep blue devices. So, we usually need whole transport layer and emitting layer and electron transport layer. So, we need high triple energy materials in all layers. So, we have to develop a high triple energy whole transport material and we also need a high triple energy host material and also we need a high triple energy electron transporter. And especially in the emitting layer case, we need a high triple energy host material and the triple energy should be higher than the triple energy of the dopant material. Additionally, we, if we develop bipolar host materials, then that can give a higher quantum efficiency. Of course, we can use mixed host structure, yeah, but uh, if we want to simplify the device structure, we need a bipolar type host materials. So there are several design rules to develop a high triple energy materials. So most people use uh, like a high triple energy core like a uh, dibenzopurin, dibenzothiocyopene, and carbazole or something like that. And the other strategy is to use uh, like a tetrahedral bridging unit such as uh, silicon or methyl or phosphine oxide group. These units are very useful to get high triple energy because they separate the conjugation unit. And the other strategy is to use distorted molecular structure. If we use uh, like a dimethyl biphenyl structure, then the distortion of the molecular structure may shorten the conjugation length and we can increase the triple energy. And also we can use some also a beta linkage to get high triple energy. So recently, for the last couple of years, we developed several whole transport materials. So I summarized all molecular structures of a whole high triple energy whole transport materials we developed. So I will explain some details about these materials.